think if we can just get everything into that one junction box. Okay, so this is part two, and I hope the last section of my rewiring and, and installing these new Wago 221 connectors. I like the connectors. I think they're going to work perfectly for this application. However, my strategy that I was using, I realized I was going about this the wrong way. I was making it harder than it had to be. I already have wires coming out of my junction box here that were supposed to go to the old show chrome. And I was trying to hook these up with the Pathfinder wires that come out of the Pathfinder and I was going to have a whole new junction box which is completely unnecessary because my Pathfinder sits right next to this junction box that I created and the wires from the Pathfinder are more than long enough to go over to that junction box so there's really no reason to have a whole new set of connectors and everything so Basically what I'm saying is everything I did in the first video is kind of waste of time even though it did give me a chance to look through this whole system and kind of rethink things. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut one of the uh, all of my uh, wire harnesses here and I'm going to basically just take these wires that come from the Pathfinder my plan is just to take those, those wires that come right out of that Pathfinder and move them over to the main junction box. Now, I'm still going to have to run a couple of wires from that junction box over to the left side of the motorcycle because I've got another small junction box that controls all of my uh, left turn signals, anything that was hooked up on the left side of the bike, the GPS, fog lights, things like that. So I do have some things that are wired on the left side of the bike, but most everything comes through on the right side because all of my tail light pathfinders and all that stuff come in through the right side. So let's uh, start cutting up these harnesses and see what I got. And, and uh, I also got everything labeled. Uh, the label maker I think is gonna work great. So I got all that stuff labeled. I'm going to relabel some of these other connectors over here. And uh, let's get started. See, these are unnecessary. I was, I was just doing double work. This is coming right out of, this is my little junction box here. These are all my connectors for the right side. And this, these are the wires that originally came out to go to the show chrome, which was necessary. But now that I have these wires coming out of the Pathfinder, and I was just gonna try to connect these in a whole separate area, which is stupid. I'm just now gonna run the wires out of the Pathfinder, all these different colored wires, right over here into the junction box. And that's all I need to do, other than maybe run one more little harness out to get over to the left side of the bike. And that's what we're gonna do. And I did label all these, which I don't need now. <laughs> so. I will, uh, I have more labels, I'll, and now I'm going to label these over here, and that'll be the first thing I do. The first thing I have to do is cut off this uh, kind of a cable. And it's a thick one. I, I put all these in a big bundle, and it's really tough, real heavy duty rubber. I don't want to cut through any of the wires, obviously. Let's see if I can get this to come off here. Man, it's on there. I bought some heat shrink tubing, really thick heat shrink tubing, and man, it is, there we go. Okay, now, these are all of my individual harnesses. That are now open, and these are the this, these are all the wires that were going to the Pathfinder, coming out of here. So I'm going to use those. I know what these colors mean, so I'm going to use those so I can label these connectors, and that's my first task.
Okay, so what I basically have done is I've just removed this from the system, um, which was running from this junction box over to my old show chrome. And now all I have to do is run these wires from my Pathfinder uh, over to the junction box. And I'm going to start that process now. I'm going to try to decide if I need to wrap these up with a heat shrink. It probably would look cleaner if I did. But I don't know if I'm going to do that yet or not. And I still have to run some wires from the junction box over to my left side for my left side uh, lights. So now the more I look at this and the more I work on it, the more I realize maybe I'd be better off just rethinking this whole thing, simplifying it, and bringing every wire from the left side of the bike over to the right side to this main junction box. I don't really see a reason to have a separate junction box on the left side of the bike right now. So my plan is to extend, I have some accessory wires here coming from like the GPS, the fog lights. I'm gonna extend these wires, make them longer so that they'll reach over here. I'm gonna bundle all my left side wires up into a harness and bring those over into my junction box. So that's the plan. I hope it'll all fit is the, is the issue because I have a lot of wires. So I may have to make my uh, opening a little bit bigger in here, but I just don't see any reason to have two separate plastic boxes in here along with the Pathfinder. I think if we can just get everything into that one junction box, I think we can do this. So I'm going to try that and um, let's get started. So welcome back. This is the next day again. And just to let you know why this seems to be taking so long, uh, I only have a couple hours to work every morning uh, before the humidity and the heat, but usually the humidity uh, kind of makes it unbearable out here because we end up sometimes 80% humidity here in the Dallas-Fort Worth area. Uh, my garage is currently not air conditioned anymore. I did have a portable air conditioner for a while and uh, <clears throat> that went away. Uh, and I get mosquitoes. I have a, a standing water in front of my driveway that the city of Carrollton refuses to fix. The mosquitoes get so bad in here that I'm just constantly being bombarded. They get in front of the little camera lens. <laughs> it's just a, a real pain. So anyway, uh, what I did yesterday is I did extend all of these wires that came from the left side of the bike. You can see here they're very long, plenty long to reach over to this junction box on the right side. Uh, these are the accessory wires which I also extended and I've gone ahead and, and shrink wrapped them. These two will get bundled together. I'll zip tie them to the frame uh, over here on the left side of the bike. But all of these wires are going to end up running over into this junction box like we talked about. And I also extended the wires from the coming from the rear of the left side of the bike. Primarily that's my show chrome saddlebag lights on the left saddlebag. And I'm getting ready to shrink wrap or shrink tube I should say put some shrink tubing on here to protect them. And those are also going to run into the junction box. And so my goal is to see if I can get all of my Wago connectors, and I hope I'm pronouncing that right. I hope it's not like Cena, and they're not really pronounced Wago connectors. Be my luck. So anyway, uh, my goal is to, you know, wrap these up today, get everything hooked up, hopefully get this thing all buttoned up today, so you can see how much neater and cleaner it look inside.
will tell you it's a tight fit, but all of my connectors did fit inside this junction box. And you can see that I've got the wires coming out of the pathfinder here into this junction box. I've also got my, my um, dual lock fastener, which attaches down here to the, I don't even know what that part is, it's just some piece of plastic on the bike. I'm gonna go ahead and stick that on there now. Because my other one, I had this already stuck down there, but it came off. It, it, uh, the adhesive came loose, so I might not have cleaned it good. This time I did clean it good with alcohol. And we'll attach this down here. <sighs> Thusly. And all of these harnesses are going to be bundled up using some cable ties. These will be bundled up and zip tied to the frame. Uh, these will come over here. I still have my hot connector and an extra ground just kind of hanging out here. I will waterproof these. I'll put these in a little tiny box and seal them up so they're not just hanging out there. And that, I think, is going to give us a really nice installation with this Pathfinder. Um, I could come in here with some heat shrink wrap and enclose all of these in a really uh, big, thick heat shrink wrap. I may end up doing that. For now, I'm very happy with the way this turned out. I no longer have a junction box on the left side of the bike. Everything's coming over into one central location using those new Wago 221 connectors. I could have never done this in the, into this size box with, that, uh, with the old Wago or Wago connectors. So I, the 221s really did uh, pay off. I'm gonna kind of tuck these on the underside of this frame rail, you know, just to keep them out of the way of the seat. And I always like to, uh, to have the little connector part also out of the way. So I'll spin it around to where it's not interfering with anything. So we'll, we'll cinch these up kind of like this right here. I'm going to slide this one down. I'll probably put three of these on here just to keep them organized. And I'll tell you what, I don't know what we did before cable ties. Was there a time before cable ties? Okay, those look good. Now... What I want to do is I want to cable tie my front and le uh, front and rear, I should say, um, wires together. The great thing about them is they're very easy to remove if you need to. I like to use wire cutters to cut the ends off. And now I think we have what I would consider to be a pretty clean installation. We've got all of our accessories running through this Pathfinder power accessory hub, which protects the CAN bus electrical system from any harm should one of the accessories short out or cause a problem. Uh, there is a green status light here on the power accessory hub. If that turns red, uh, you know you have a problem, and basically you just turn the bike off for a few seconds and return, turn it back on, and it should reset automatically. There are no fuses in here. It's all electronic. It's all uh, integrated circuits. And so everything now, accessory-wise, all of my lights, my GPS, everything's running through this power accessory hub. Very pleased with that. Let's turn on the bike and see if everything lights up and if everything's working, and I'll walk around the bike and take a look. Cowl lights are working. Add-on mirrors are working. Let's see about the turn signals. Left turn signals are working in the front. Let's check the right turn signals. Right turn signals are working in the front. 
Let's check the right turn signals in the rear. Yes, those are the saddlebag. I've got the saddlebag open, but I can see them here. Let's go around here. Uh, yep. Looks like all of our right turn signals are working. Let's check the left in the rear. Got to lift this saddlebag up. Yep, it is flashing. And in the back. Everything looks good. Let's check our brake lights. Okay, so I hope you found this video helpful. I know I've done a lot of videos on wiring up accessories and I never really finished uh, kind of completing the job with this power accessory hub because it has its own wires, which the Show Chrome didn't have. And I've had a lot of people ask me um, if you already have a Show Chrome isolator fuse block, do you need to get rid of it and get this uh, Pathfinder LED power accessory hub? And I guess the short answer is no. You don't really need to invest in two of these. Uh, if you have a Show Chrome uh, isolator fuse block, that's a fine piece of equipment, so you would wire it up like I did in my previous videos, my wiring strategy videos. Um, this is not to say that this is the, the only way to wire up these accessories. This is just the way I've done it. It's easier for me to maintain. It's easier for me to keep track of and know what's going on. I have all my uh, 221 Wago connectors labeled. I think I'm going to like these 221 connectors. I like the smaller, the lower profile. There's no way I could have fit everything in that junction box if I hadn't switched over to those new connectors. I would have had to either have a bigger junction box, and I'm not even sure if that would fit under the seat where I have it right now. So I was able to eliminate one junction, but actually two. I actually had two junction boxes on the left side of the bike, and I was able to eliminate both. I call them junction boxes. They really weren't. They're just plastic boxes that I was putting uh, Wago connectors inside of. I just use the term junction box, so forgive me for that. But I was able to eliminate two of those and m pull everything into that one central location, which for me I think is more elegant. And even though I had to extend some wires using some of these little solder connectors that you use with a heat gun, I'll also put links to those in the description of the video because those things are invaluable so much easier than having to get out a soldering gun and do all that. So I was able to extend those wires and get all that to work and I, I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. I think uh, if you choose to use this technique, I'd like to know in the comments down below. I know at least one of my viewers has done something very similar. He has a really nice installation. I believe uh, Robert, he'll know who it is. And uh, he sent me some photos and it really looks nice. He did a really good job. I just didn't want a bunch of connectors and a bunch of wires hanging around under the seat of the bike. I just don't think it's, I just don't think it's very uh, clean. It's just not very elegant. So this is a, a sophisticated motorcycle that deserves to have a, a really nice installation job. So anyway, if you have any questions, put them in the comments down below. Um, if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate that. It really helps the video. And let me know if you find any of this information helpful. And uh, as I add new accessories, I'll be using this system uh, to tie into. So, uh, I, I mean, I haven't even shaved today. I apologize for the way I look. Um, I just wanted to get out here early as I could and get this done. So anyway, thanks for joining me again today. I'll see you on the next Cruise Man's Garage.